Okay, so now that we have the memory and the processor and the heat sink on there, we are going to drop this motherboard in there. But don't drop it too hard. And one of the hardest things about getting a motherboard in a case, uh, number one, get all the cables out of the way so things don't get stuck up under the motherboard. The second um, thing that you want to do is think about how this we're going to slide these connectors into this little back plate cover that we popped in before. You need to, to start by putting the motherboard a little bit toward the front and then kind of sliding it gently into those connectors. You don't want to drag it over these motherboard standoffs uh, that'll, that could mess up the, some of the connectors on the back of the, some of the circuitry on the back of the motherboard. Um, so let me try to talk you through what to th be thinking about as you as you put this in here. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit. You just want to be gentle. There are a lot of things that you could screw up. And I'm just going to set it down on those standoffs gently for one second. And then I'm going to try to move it as close as into position as I can. Lift it up with my fingers here. So I'm trying to match up the speaker, the USB, and the video out into this as gently as I can and just kind of push it and slide it in there. And it is never it never seems to go well. If anybody has any any advice about how to do this in a better way than I'm doing it. Alright, it looks like everything kind of snapped in there. And you want to keep pushing it this way into where those connectors are in those little slots where that um, cover is until you see those little screw holes from the motherboard standoffs appear in these holes and that is when you know that you have it perfectly in the right position and so let me grab my screwdriver here and start putting screws in these holes so remember, we had six screws, and you want to use every one of those screws. Because believe it or not, trust me, if you leave out one of those screws, it can actually lead to comp your computer crashing. And you won't have any idea what's going on. So here's number three. And as always with screws, you want to put them in there nice and snug, but don't turn them so hard that you can break anything. So. I'm having a problem getting some of these screws started. The motherboard isn't perfectly squared up with those holes. Sometimes the way they drill the holes on the back of the case aren't perfectly lined up with the way they drilled the holes on the motherboard. But they should be very close. That one went in really well. And one more. So Rather than watch me fiddle with this last screw, it's kind of in a corner. I'm probably going to be dropping it a few times. We'll take a break here.